Synth is a service from Microsoft. It allows you to upload your photos and it will analyze those photos and recreate essentially a path that you're walking through or a panorama or, and, and turn that into an interactive scene. It will automatically play back, but at any point in time, you can stop it, you can zoom in, and you can click and drag and pan around your image. Really, really cool experience for having kind of like an immersion into a lot of images that are put together. Now, anyone who's read my blog recently or knows me well knows that I have kind of an obsession with aerial photography with a remote control helicopter. And what you're seeing here is a photo synth that I created by uploading images from one of my flights to Photosynth, and Photosynth basically merged those into the kind of video playback and you know interactive drilling experience that you see here. What's also really cool about this is it even works on any mobile device that supports WebGL. So you can view it kind of like playback we have here. Um, I can tap and zoom in at any point. And I can also resume playing or I can actually control playback through the sequence. What I want to show you today is how you can make some really cool photosynths by leveraging Adobe Lightroom to really bring out the most in your images before you upload them to the Photosynth service. Now we've switched over to Lightroom. Lightroom is fantastic for editing images. I can change the exposure, the clarity, the vibrance. I can switch over to the develop module and have a lot more control over how you're editing those images. Like if I want to bring up the shadows and bring down highlights to bring out detail in this image. And maybe I'll bring up the clarity and also vibrance, why not? Um, it can really allow you to bring out a lot of detail and, and a lot of quality in your images that you may not have seen before. But it's not just great at simply editing images. It's also great at editing images in bulk. So I'm just gonna hit Command A in the collection that I've already created. Um, I've hit Command A and I'm just going to hit the sync button over here on the right. And once I hit sync, I want it to sync every property, everything I've changed on this particular image. And now that that sync is complete, these settings will be applied to every image that was in this collection. So if I jump back, you can see that the images are much more vivid and they have all of the same settings that I, I changed on that first photo. Now all the photos in this collection have been modified and I wanna upload those to the Photosynth service. So all that I have to do is export them I can do that by going to File, Export with all my images selected. And let me go ahead and find a location for them. We'll call this one Richmond, because that was taken in Richmond, Virginia. So I've specified a directory. I've specified custom naming for the images. And we'll just hit Export. And this is going to kick off the export process. Once our image exports from Lightroom is complete, we can switch back over to Photosynth, um, hit Create to create a new Photosynth, and the first thing you have to do is add photos. So I'm just going to drag some photos from the file system and drop them right into Photosynth in the browser. Once you've dragged the images in, you'll be able to preview your images before you upload them. Um, when you're ready, just hit Next, and all of them will be uploaded. Photosynth will process those, and then it will send you an email letting you know when your Photosynth is actually ready to be viewed. Once your Photosynth has been processed, then you can view it, you can share it, you can tweet it out, send it to your friends. Um, some really cool experiences that you can create. Um, here's another one I captured uh, over the beach in Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, the beach is empty because it's during the winter, and not many people want to be out there when it's 30 degrees. But you can view it kind of like a video, what we're showing here, or I can interact with it so I can control the playback for which images I'm viewing, how fast are we viewing through it. And at any point in time, I can also zoom in on the image. And if you look really closely, that's actually me standing there controlling the remote controlled helicopter. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Um, I encourage you to get out there, do some really cool things, and use Adobe's tools to make the most out of whatever you're able to capture.